What's up guys, welcome back to another Ableton Live Remake Breakdown. This is Aldi. In today's video, we're going to see the breakdown of my last remake of Zed and Ellie Dewey called Happy Now. Before we start it, I want to tell you guys that make sure you check out my store for more Ableton Live Remake project. And here, you'll find quite a lot of uh, Ableton Remake project as well as stamps pack which available for you to purchase and download for this instrumental make sure you also check the final version of the instrumental which you can find it here i'll give you the link on the video description down below okay so without further ado let's begin here we go first element on the intro we have the guitar track let's listen <laughs> This one is exactly the same that I use in Haley Stanfield and Gray's Starving. This is the guitar sample from Ableton Live uh, built in packs. You see here that I have the guitar samples and I use the Waves plugin, the GTR amp from Waves. And I also use the GTR Stomp 4 to use the uh, stomp boxes. I use the compressor and the reverb only for this one. This is exactly the same like Starving. This is the uh, 2x12 open back and the second cabinet is 4x12 British uh, caps. So it has a clean type of uh, amp. And I also use the Plugin Alliance Brainwork Stereo Maker. I want to give a shout out to Plugin Alliance for giving me the NFR license for their top plugins lineup. Uh, thank you again, Plugin Alliance. I really, really enjoy using your products. For you guys, if you want to check out uh, their products, I'll give you the links to the Plugin Alliance websites. They have an offerings almost every day they have discounts for specific plugins you can uh, purchase back to this plugin let's hear the difference i'm going to bypass now yeah it's bypass without the stereo maker and i engage This plugins is not just giving you the white image of the sound, but it also gives a little bit of air sound that typically being produced by a miking positioning in the caps, in the cabinets. This is quite useful. And if you don't want to just simple separation, pan left and pan right, you can use this stereo spread settings from a stereo maker. The next track I have effects, which is the final scratching sounds. This is also the same final sound that I use in uh, Stay in the Middle and a couple of other remakes um, that I produced in the past. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's very, very low. And it helps bring a little bit of uh, analog ambience analog noise in the mix let's move on to the verse as you can see here that i have <clears throat> quite a lot of layers quite a lot of tracks in here the first one we have a kick yeah this is the basic kick and i have the drums group which is only a claps and a snapping sound. And I layer it with fully in this one. Yeah. 
all this drum group also being used in stay uh remake and the ableton remake project and the next thing that i have is a snare of course i have the snare this is a typical trap or feature based type of uh, snare basic i did not warp it okay and i have a second snare which is uh the same sound the same samples but i add the valhalla room okay just to make a little bit more difference in the background yeah and the next thing i have this main lead group this is the important part as you can see here that i freezed all these uh layers all these tracks because this one used contact and as you know the contact takes a lot of cpus in your computer especially when you have lots of plugins um, i mean lots of libraries installed in the contact but for this purpose, I'm going to unfreeze. But before before I unfreeze, you can see the, this is the MIDI that I use. Let's just unfreeze everything. Okay. This one is playing the same notes with the guitar, but for the fills, the lead fills, it has certain, uh, certain notes. And the lead fills, I use the uh, bell type of sound for all these the, uh, this leads. I'm using a contact library and you can find it here. Let's go to the top, we go to synth, go to mallet and you'll find wave bells here okay i also use the iron bell uh, piano so let's move to the top you'll see that i use the same wave bells but playing higher notes later i have lead mid just using the iron bell and the low one is same wave bells okay yeah so once again this is the lead fill playing the same notes like the guitar I have a second guitar also playing in the first this is the guitar mute which is uh, basically the same uh, Ableton Live packs but this one it being sampled or recorded uh, originally with uh, muted sound this sounds like this yeah it sounds uh, muted the first one it sounds normal oh sorry i must go back here oh this here. okay and <clears throat> to get the muted sound i put an envelope on the articulation This part is muted and this part is uh, more open strings. And you also hear the strings scratch. This one. I add an effect sound for the strings. So it will create such a realistic sound. 
Uh, move on to the next. We have keys, which is <coughs> the first verse is playing a simple note. Just a variation in the second verse. We have the grand pianos and also we have a simple organ from Contact Library as well, but it only plays at the second verse. I'll show you later. And we have the pads. The first pad is from Ableton Live Stock Instruments. Also for the second one. But the second one is uh, I use silent. This is the basic preset, uh, not the basic, but I created myself, like always. I only used saw and the auto filter. That's it. And there's no other processing in here except the auto filter and the and utility, which doing nothing in here. The next track is the bass, of course. The first bass is playing uh, the live bass, the normal bass. Yeah. The second one is a sub. This subs, like I always use, I create sub from silence. Which is you can just go when you put a silence, you just go to the bank and then you clear the all all the settings back to initialize, back to init. Okay, and then you set to sine wave and put one voice only and you can lower down the octave minus one or minus two. That's it. You don't have to do anything else except maybe you can add a little bit more uh, release. And what else do I have? Yeah, I have the clock effects. Like always, also, you hear in many of Z remakes and the original track also. I use the same clock uh, sound. This one uh, from the middle and also in Stay and also a couple of Brooks and Martin Garrix. Uh, remakes they are using the same clock effects okay this one is from Kashmir okay lately Z and Gray are using quite a lot of uh, plucky sounds and percussions and foolies in their track I will keep this clock in every Z remix in the future, maybe. You will hear quite a lot of uh, percussion, quite a lot of uh, foolies, uh, snapping, clapping. So it has a tight attack on the mix. Go back to the top. Let's check the percussion. I have this uh, signature sound, I think. This is the... I don't know what what to call this sound, uh, but I think it's a, it's also a bells, a percussion, a, a bells. Yeah, I also have this one fully, and a bunch of others percussion from Kashmir. And for the processing and the percussion group, I have the SSL channel, this one. <coughs> this is, uh, let's hear the difference if I bypass. I filter the high frequencies and low frequencies. So I use the low pass and high pass. 
to cut uh, the low and high because I did not want it too much in highs because it will affect the the lead and also the snares and we have the hats also so yeah I cut down the highs and I lost connection for my mouse yep thank you and we're back Okay, and that's the percussion group. For the drums group, I have Plugin Alliance BX Console G. This is the signature plugin replicating the SSL console channel. The original console, it has uh, all these modules in one single uh, slots in the console. Plugin Aliens and Brainworks are working together to create this type of uh, SSL channel. Let's move on to the next part. Um, we have the build. Let's listen to build. In the build, we can hear from the original that it has a vocoder as well. Same like the middle and stay and many other Z tracks. They He used quite a lot of vocoder lately. I don't know why. He's so in love with the vocoder. Uh, but first one, let's check. The first layer, we have a guitar playing same notes. And the automation is triggering the articulate, the articulation. And we have the pads still playing the same notes with no automation. We have bass only playing sub. And then the important one is the vocoder. Uh, it's, it's not the main lead, it's supposed to be a vocoder. So, yeah, the vocoder are taken from the original track, exactly the same part, and I just drag it into the new track, and then I add a vocoder. Of course, I add an EQ to, to cut the low, and I add the vocoder, and the audio is being triggered from a trigger fifth. I have two triggers in here. Yeah, you'll see the first one is being triggered from the second trigger, the second one being triggered by the first triggers. Why did I do that? Okay, so in order to make a vocoder works, we need to have one single synth or one single source. For this one, I only use a basic uh, synth using silence. Yeah, this is a basic sound. I uh, only use a soul with one voice. I did not change anything. Okay, and it's playing a basic notes. But I use the MIDI effects chord. And by doing this, you will create this basic uh, single note into a uh, chords. Yeah, this is uh, very very useful if you do not want to draw your own your own chords like this. For example, maybe you, you know, you're too lazy to make a chord. You can just simply add this uh, MIDI effects and you tweak uh, anything you want. For well, the first one, I use uh, plus seven semitones for the second shift to be trigger uh, to be a trigger for this vocoder. The second one is a trigger fifth. I use plus four semitones. Maybe you hear slightly off notes, but it works for baking vocals. It works with the 
the main vocals. Yeah, because it's must playing the harmonics and act as a backing vocals. I also uh, pan a little bit to the right and left, and I have this effect also playing. This is the final scratch still playing, and I have sweeps up and a sweep down. And then the second part of the build. Uh, which is also the same as the first one, but we have the snare built and the percussion here. Let's check out the build, uh, snare build. The first snare build, I uh, use uh, acoustic snare from Kashmir. The second one, yeah, also from Kashmir. Same acoustic snare. So this is uh, the basic one. I do not have anything uh, envelopes. I do not have any envelopes in here. Because I believe in every Z single, he also play his own drums and pianos and stuff like that. So he's actually a recording artist. Yeah. Okay, and let's move on to the drop. In the drop, we have all the kicks. We have kicks, we have drums. The first hat is 808 hats. This is samples from Ableton. Just drag it here. Instead of using a MIDI, I prefer to use an audio files. It helps reduce CPU usage. And I have another 808, 808 hats. I add a saturation in here so it doesn't sound too um, to computer, yeah. but still, I wanted to make it uh, like a real hats. And I have rights, this is the rights, and I have China symbols, but not playing here. I have splash symbols, I have hats open, this is also a real hats. Okay, from here. The percussion, same, playing same percussion loop. And I have shaker and a wooden fiber slab. This is also from Ableton samples. Let's check out the main lead. As I explained earlier in the video, that I have a bunch of uh, contact VST in here. I use the wave bells and sounds like this. Yeah, basically it's type of uh, simple bells or you can use a mallets or and anything that has a plucky sounds or bell sounds is playing a simple note sounds like like an oriental type of sound yeah yeah i layer it with the mid frequencies this is not too low but this one is playing the lower notes from the first one. And the lead fills are also still playing and playing the same notes as the guitar. Still the same. Okay. 
you can just simply drag the guitar notes and drag it here it'll be the same and the last one is the lead bell i use ableton live stock instruments and i still have my pads playing and also the bass sorry the bass is playing the same notes as well only use the sub and you'll hear the pitch pen sound this is uh, sometimes quite uh, troublesome if you have the pitch band on the MIDI notes because sometimes the pitch band did not reset back to zero it's stuck wherever your pitch band is at even if you already set it back to zero sometimes it just gets stuck I don't know I, I found it since life 8 I think and it's very very stressful i have to create this is the only way i can make it work i create a simple a midi region and let's just go to the envelopes and i just create two um envelopes two points at the start and at the beginning and maybe to distinguish with the other yeah i set it red and you can just Put it in front or in the back it depends how many uh, pitch band do you have in in your midi notes so by doing this it will help the pitch band back to zero reset to zero okay but yeah finger crossed and move on we do not have vocoder playing in the second verse we have effects it's still playing uh, clocks still playing the noise yeah and the drums also same but we have the real hats are playing in here the the close and open hat just to recreate the original drums that Z has been recorded in the track we still have the same uh, percussion from Kashmir the same like the first same like first first <laughs> uh, and we still have the snare playing Still the same. The difference is only at this one, the keys. We can hear that there are keys playing on the first part of the second verse. I use the Max for Life device. Uh, it's called Pitch Drop, and yeah, I set the envelope around here. Okay, if you download this project, this will uh, automatically transfer. It will automatically copy, and make sure you guys using the latest version, Ableton Live 10, which is, has the built-in uh, uh, Max for Life. And what else do I have on the first? Uh, another guitar playing, basically the same. Yeah, it'll keep repeating. It keep repeating the same like the first one okay and maybe let's just move on to this section by default life will create two sends the reverb and delay 
Okay, I did not use the delay actually. I only used the reverb. I replaced the original uh, live reverb with Valhalla Room with the mix uh, quite a bit low. It's supposed to be full at 100% because it was at a sand track. Yeah, but I only used like 12%. And then I have uh, beats. And this one, as like I did in many other remakes in my previous video, I send all this uh, track for the beats directly go to this submix. Yeah, this is, will act like a submix. I just put sends only and I send where I want it to be sound, uh, rooted sound and go to the beats submix by only set a sense only and I set it at a C sense okay and doing this all this output will be sent uh, will be routed to here so if I solo this you can only hear uh, beats okay and the master at the very first chain on the master bus i have this analysis bus from waves yeah. what this plugin do i also use this one in my couple of remakes previously this will create a vca group type of a sound that uh, it mimics the sound of the vca groups console uh, from the analog console so and the uh, original mixing desk console it has the VCA groups uh, feature means that you routed this single channel into a specific bus or specific VCA group console so let's say I must put this NLS channel on the kick and then I route it to the VCA group kick number two so in master I have my kick, I rename it first, it's a kick, and then I can just adjust and mix everything from the master. I do not need to go to the Ableton mixer or individually set the volume or the gain individual tracks. So I just go to here and I trim a little bit and turn down the gain. I can do pretty much everything from here. I can also add a drive or a saturation for the whole mix of VCA group console. I can add the drive or you can add a noise. You can add the noise, it's being engaged. This one is bypass. And you have options to use three types of VCA group console by brand. This one, Spike, Mike, and Nevo. I only know one. Nevo is supposed to be Neve, I think. Neve console. Okay. And you can also set individually on here. If you want the kick to be sounded like uh, Nevo console, you switch to Nevo. Okay. But you can also set in here as individual. Individual means uh, whatever you set on the channel, it will follow. Or you want to override and use from here instead okay. yeah. and the next one i have tpx console n this one is also almost the same like the previous uh console g that i showed you earlier okay this I uh, use this one I use the setup compressor via VXS this is the preset and I just tweak a little bit on the low pass and the high pass and the next one I have the SSL master bus compression this is a very famous plugin replicate from the original SSL console you can find it the original module on the center of the desk of the mixing desk 
every sound from the single channel in the console will be go through here and it will be, will be glued together and the next one i have the brainworks xl version 2 uh, this plugin act like limiter you have bunch of settings in here which i cannot explain and every single of it And the last one I have reverb which I only trigger uh, which only being engaged at the first drop yep that's the reverb okay I'm going to show you an AB comparison with the original That's the AB comparison. I'm using my launchpad to trigger the solo and sometimes I, I set it active. I do this quite a lot when I'm working on my remake. I set a loop like this. I set a loop, keep repeating and I keep switching back and forth with the original. So I can hear the difference, uh, which part they have to tweak more, which part they have to delete. So you don't have to click it every time you want to hear the reference okay let me know what you guys think i hope you guys find it useful you can check out this project on the link that i will give you in the video description down below you can use the instrumental version for anything you want to do for vlogs for covers for anything but please don't tell that it's yours. Thank you for the new subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy the stay. Also, thank you for the existing subscribers that helping me a lot to build this channel. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.